math time. Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the six trigonometric ratios. Solving a right triangle given the length of one leg. And the measure of one acute angle. Solving a right triangle given the length of one leg and the measure of one acute angle. Alright, so let's take for example in this illustration. In, in a right triangle, car, C-A-R. Find the lengths of side R and side A. Given that the measure of angle R is 25 degrees and side C is equal to 12 centimeter. Well, of course, our right angle here is at angle A. Now, how are we going to find that one? Okay, let us have here, okay, solution. Okay, so solution one, let us find first the measure or the length of side R. So this one here. So with the given, of course, our hypo uh, I mean, our angle is 25 and we have here the side which is 12 that is one leg of our right triangle and we have an acute angle measure is 25 degrees so among the six trigonometric ratios which among them we can use in solving for the side of uh, the length of the side R okay so we have here angle then we have opposite over this one is gonna be our adjacent so therefore we'll be using TOA okay to solve for side R okay so meaning tangent we have 25 degrees is equal to opposite that is our R over our adjacent which is the given that's 12 is that clear so cross multiply you have r is equal to 12 times tangent 25 degrees using your calculator we have tangent so press tangent then 25 equals that will give us 0.4663 so on and so forth so we'll make use of four digits so 12 times 0 0.4663 okay then multiply it by 12 so times 12 there you go it will give us uh, two decimal places so you have 5.59 surround it off so that would becomes 5.60 so that means our R or the length of the side R is 5.60 centimeter. That's the length of our side R. Okay? Now let's move on to the side A. Okay, so for side A. So again, we have the angle. We have here the given. So that's the hypotenuse so among the six trigonometric ratios we can use adjacent over hypotenuse and that would be cosine so meaning ka okay so we have cosine 25 degrees is equal to adjacent that is side c over the hypotenuse that is side A oh, I, I wrote it C here so substitute that would become C is 12 then over A so cosine 25 degrees then cross multiply you would have it here therefore A cosine 25 degrees is equal to 12 and remember, we are looking for the side length of side A. So we have to divide both sides by cosine 25 degrees. Cosine 25 
degrees. So, A times cosine 25 degrees divided by cosine 25 degrees. So, that will be taken out. So, what is left in this side is A is equal to 12 divided by cosine 25. So, what is cosine 25? So, cos 25 degrees, that will give us 0 0.906307 and so on and so forth. So, we'll just make case of the four digits. So, nine, uh, point 0.9063. So, 12 divided by 0 0.9063. So, using our calculator, so we have 12 divided by the answer. Okay? So, that will give us... That is 13.24. So our length is, well, side A is equal to 13.24 centimeter. Okay, there you go. Our side A is 13.24 centimeter and our side R is equal to 5.60 centimeter. Okay, so from here in our illustration, this is going to be 13.24 centimeter. And this one is 5.60 centimeter. So if you will be asked in our problem, in our illustration here, for the measure of angle C, well, of course, you will just subtract 90 minus 25. So what is 90 minus 25? Again, you have you will have 65 degrees. Anyways, it is not anywhere uh, asked in our problem. So you have 65 degrees as the measure of angle C. Now let's move on to problem number two. <clears throat> Triangle SPA is a right angled at C. So we have here SPA. If measure of angle S, so this one here, is 60 degrees and side S, opposite to that one, that is 11 centimeter. Find the length of side P, so this one. This is our hypotenuse and our side A. Again, so from here, our given is uh, one acute angle which is 63 degrees. And we have one leg, which is 11 centimeter because side P is our hypotenuse. Now, let us solve for, okay, solve for the measure of or the length of side A. Okay, so we have here side A. So we'll be using our given, which is 63 degrees, and our side S, which is 11 centimeter. So uh, angle opposite over adjacent again angle opposite over adjacent so we'll be using towa okay so i mean i mean we have here tangent okay tangent 63 degrees is equal to opposite which is 11 over the adjacent which is a Again, cross multiply, you have then A tangent 63 degrees is equal to 11. Dividing both sides by tangent 63 degrees. Okay, both sides, we have 63 degrees. So, in here, that would be A is alone. So, 11 divided by tangent 63. So, what is tangent 63? So, tangent 63 okay is equal to so 11 divided by 1.9626 okay so we'll make use of uh, the four digits so you have 11 divided by 1.9626 so you have 11 divided by answer if that is you have your calculator so you have therefore the length of side A is 5.60 centimeter. Okay. There you have it. So meaning to say that the length of this side here is 5.60 centimeter. 
Okay? Now, let's move on for our, our side P, our hypotenuse. So, let's solve for the hypotenuse which is represented by P. So, again, from the given, angle opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse, that means you'll be using so. So, sine 63 degrees is equal to opposite, which is 11. Okay. 11 over, okay, that's P, the hypotenuse. So, cross multiply, you have P sine 63 degrees equals 11. So, dividing both sides by sine uh, 63 degrees, 63 degrees, I mean sine rather, 63 degrees, so you have P therefore is equal to 11 over, what is sine 63 degrees? So using your calculator, you have sine 63 is equal to 0 0.8910. So again, you have 0 0.8910. Eight nine one zero. Okay, so you have to divide now 11 divided by answer. So that will give us 12. Okay, 12 point. I'm sorry, 12.35. Okay, so 35 centimeters. So that would be the length of our side P. So again, in our illustration, this one, this side, 12.35 centimeter. That's the length of our side P. And for the side A, you have again 5.60 centimeter. Is that clear now? Okay. So again, from our problem, we are only given with one acute angle, which is 63 degrees, and one... Uh, one leg of our right triangle what that is 11 centimeter and we are asked to find the other leg and of course our hypotenuse okay so is there any question well of course i think that is very very clear